Hey guys, what's up? My name is Les Garcia and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. Um, as you can tell probably by the title, we're gonna do a Q&A. I asked on my Instagram for y'all to ask me questions and it's my time to answer them. But if you aren't already following me on Instagram, TikTok, you should. You should subscribe, you should like and comment. Give me video recommendations, topics, anything you want to see. So yeah, let's just jump right in. First question, what kind of nurse are you? I'm a med tele nurse. Been doing it for about four and a half years. I was working med surge right out of nursing school and it kind of just stuck, you know? Um, I'm working PRN with a local travel agency right now and I like it a lot. Love the flexibility, just love it. And we'll do another video on that another time, but that goes to my next question. What do you do when your shifts get canceled? If you follow me on Instagram, you know that sometimes they get canceled, which is very frustrating because they tell you like at 5 p.m. and I've already slept all day and I'm like, I just wasted my day. And I'm the type where I'm like, I just don't wanna sleep all day. Like I have stuff to do, people to see, things to accomplish. You know, I'm just like a little go-getter productive gal. So it's frustrating, but um, what I do when that happens, you can reroute, so I went to other facilities um, instead of the facility that I booked at that they canceled me. Or I just stay home and watch Netflix, order some food, chill out, make some content, and you know, just hope for the next day that I'm not canceled and get back on my schedule. Because um, I work night shifts, so it gets a little, it gets a little tricky. Um, next question, how to relax when working such a stressful job on your time off? So what I like to do to relax, so many, especially now in summer or just in general, I like to go to the gym. I'm gonna be hopping in the pool here in a second. So just relaxing by the pool, hanging out with friends, family. Nothing beats than just putting on a movie with your significant other, ordering some food, making some popcorn and just chilling in your PJs, you know? So that's the best time. When you're away from work, you need to be mentally away from work. You have to, like how are you gonna live your life like that if you're always stressed about going back to work or, I used to be like that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so like, work is stressing me out. No, don't stress about it. Just live your life, make plans, go do them. Like you're too young and it life is too short, okay? So, Netflix, that's the answer. <laughs> Feeling burnt out, what do I do? I got a few questions about burnout, how to avoid it, what to do. And it's hard because we work in such a high demanding, maybe not so safe, like working conditions. And there's a lot of things that you can do to help yourself out. One being if you're like a staff nurse or tech or health care worker, you get PTO, use it. Set time aside where you take like a week or two or however long you need away, go on vacation or just go have a staycation in your area or just stay at home and just take time off to relax, okay? Do whatever you wanna do. Um, that's one thing. If you still just feel like absolutely burned out and like, no desire and just like grumpy at work and just like you feel like all this negative energy i would say maybe it's the work environment i would try maybe a different facility a different floor different specialty um because it does vary sometimes as far as your working environment um if that doesn't work maybe hospital setting isn't for you maybe you need to like completely switch it up um, I would say maybe try like a PRN, a part-time job first, um, maybe into like clinic or aesthetics. There's so many things you can do. You can do like IV um, infusions, things like that. Like there's so many options and like I looked into everything, you know, and doing PRN for men's surge for me at this moment is fine. I don't want to work bedside forever. I don't think many people do. So having those options, you can work from home, you can do remote working. I mean, you don't have to give up nursing completely. There's, that's the awesome thing about nursing, like <laughs> the opportunities 
of jobs are like endless. Um, so I would try maybe those things out and see. Um, and then of course, you know, on your days off, make sure you're like, you're like having interests and hobbies, things that you really like to do. Like, you know, just give yourself that at least. Um, next question, tips for new nurses. That we know how hard it is to be a new grad. It's overwhelming. There's a lot of knowledge thrown at you, a lot of responsibilities thrown at you. Know your resources, know your experienced nurses, know your charge. You can have your rapid team, people that you can ask questions. If you ever, I'm like, even thinking like, well, what? Mm, maybe something doesn't look right or these looks off. Ask for help, ask for, like, ask for questions. Um, that's certainly important and a great tip. Um, being organized is another thing you just need to have your stuff in order figuring out what works for you best um and yeah also to avoid the burnout or feeling like super like overwhelmed at work outside of work make sure you have a life outside of work and finding those things that you like to do and doing them um next question tips for students pursuing nursing excuse me pursuing nursing um, students, again, you have to be organized. Um, it's just like books and study guides and outlines and lectures and all this crap. And you're just like, so just be organized. Um, and also finding out what kind of learner you are. You know, do you need to record the lectures to listen to them all the time, 24 seven, even while you're working out to really engrave it into your brain? Or do you need to do study groups to get other people's perspectives and like learning style? Um, that's a huge on learning how to study so you can retain the information and also like understand it. Um, that's a huge, huge important factor um, that I would say is a, for nursing students. Um, we'll just keep going along. In your opinion, how hard was nursing school? It was extremely hard. I know some people don't have to try that hard or like know the information like super smart I had to work really hard okay I wasn't like I mean I'm smart but like you know I just had to like try extra hard so I felt like studying for me was 24 7 like all the time I was like waking up super early going to the gym because I love like working out that was like a stress relief like debrief for me and then going to school early, studying what like the lecture, you know, just reading the chapters. And then I had like a small study group and then we'd go to class, do that. And then after class, I would be at Starbucks until like 11 o'clock at night. And then I would do it all over the next day. Fun times, don't miss it though. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was extremely hard, but it's completely worth it. I guarantee you. Was there a lot of math involved in nursing school? Uh, don't see calculations, but if you're like kind of hesitant to go into nursing school because of the math that that's like not your strongest suit i'd say still pursue it because they're going to teach you conversions they're they're gonna help you and get you set up for that and you'll take quizzes um test on that um and yeah dosing calculations is easy to get a, you know the hang of so you'll be fine um how to pass fundamentals you know what out of nursing school i felt like i struggled the most my first semester like fundamentals and I don't know if it was maybe just like the test taking because I do have like test anxiety even like for my driver's license I was like freaking out you know like just testing is not my thing I just get really really stressed out about it um so I would say a lot of you know um practice tests and like questions um what helped me was like the study groups, like I was saying, like I studied with people who were like way smarter than me and like hearing them and how like they remember certain things. I was like, oh, that's a good one. And I'm like, oh, we're taking notes. I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? You know? So like studying with people who were like smarter than you and like hanging out with them, um, that will help you as well. <laughs> so those are my tips on how to pass fundamentals. Next question, dating well, being a night shift nurse. Well, luckily, 
I wasn't like newly dating as a night shift nurse. My boyfriend and I were together before I started nursing school. So he's been with me through the whole transition. Um, but yeah, being a night shift nurse is hard as is already because of your sleeping schedule and it's just kind of like out of whack. Um, just finding someone that's like supportive and understanding, like especially if you don't want to go out and do stuff like on your first night off, like because you're just so tired, you know? Um, just finding someone who's really willing to compromise and work with you on that and it's understanding. Um, that's that's the best thing you can say about about dating while being a night shift nurse. And then also sometimes you're just gonna have to lack some sleep, drink some caffeine and get going just so you can have a life and socialize. <laughs> so that's my advice on that. Um, favorite part in nursing. Oh, you know, I do have to say, you hear a lot of horror stories <laughs> um, about patients and like nursing like situations and stuff, but what I really, really, really do enjoy and what keeps me going is you really do have those awesome patients that you just like interact and learn so much about and you kind of like just build that rapport with, the, with them and that feels amazing especially when they're just so grateful like after your shift and they're just like thank you so much for your care and for being there just to listen and oh that that's an amazing feeling like feeling like you really made a difference in someone's life even if it was for 12 hours or you had them like all week and it was just like wow like you grew to really kind of know that person especially while they're like in their most vulnerable state and they're not really feeling good and you're like trying to advocate and make sure that they're comfortable and talking to the doctors and really working with the other team members to make sure that this patient's safe and okay. Um, yeah, that's my favorite part is like those patients. And that's why I like med surgery, like those geriatric patients, they were just so cute. I don't know, I just, I love them. Um, why did I pick nursing? So I never was like that person growing up, like I'm gonna be a nurse or I'm gonna be a doctor, you know? Like I just didn't know. I was like pretty chill, laid back. I like playing sports, you know, my whole family were just like very active and like doing sports and stuff. Um, but my sister was that person. So she grew up and she knew she wanted to be a nurse and she became one. And it just really never came to me like, oh, I wanna be a nurse too, you know? I knew I wanted to be in the medical field and I moved to Houston went to community college, started taking my basics, and I was like, I think I wanna do more like physical therapy. I'm like into working out exercises. I think that would be kind of fun. So I was like thinking about pursuing that. Um, and then my sister was like, let me look at your classes. And she was like, I think, like you're taking basically a lot of the same classes like that you would, you know, for nursing. Like, why don't you do like get into a nursing program? And I'm like, I don't know. And talking to her, and then I had a coworker at the time as a waitress who was also going into nursing or, you know, and, and she really liked it and just talking to them and like learning more about nursing as a career and the opportunities and everything. I was like, you know what, maybe I would really like it. Maybe that is um, a good direction for me to go. So I ended up kind of just going on a limb and just trying it. Um, I took my entrance exam and I applied to nursing school and I prayed to God and I was like if this is meant to be like if this is truly what I'm supposed to do like if this is like my <laughs> my purpose in life like please like just let me get in and let me pursue it and I will like all faith right and I got in and that was super big for me because like I said I never felt like I was like the smartest girl in the, the room you know I just like always had to try extra hard and to get in my first try and I know now I feel like to get into nursing school is so hard like you had to try multiple times um so I was very fortunate and lucky that I got in my first try and yeah it it happened and you know I I'm so happy I ended up picking it and, and trusting my gut on that and praying about it and realizing that that was the direction I was supposed to be going so I did good um, can you talk more about finances and nursing? This is a good question, especially while being in a relationship. So, well, as a new nurse, I mean, okay, my jobs before, like I was a waitress, I made, you know, you make okay money there, and then you like, I worked at a church, and I made like 
$10 an hour. So when you're like a new nurse, you're just like, wow, I got like, I'm getting paid more. Like what? This is nice. I would say just be like responsible. <laughs> Cause me at first I was like, Ooh, let me go buy this and this and this. And like, you know, like now I get to like be Miss Independent Woman and like buy me myself all these things when I wasn't able to during nursing school because you know, I'm like, Hey mom and dad and boyfriend, can you help me? You know? So, <laughs> um, I would say just save like know what you want to do if you want to like travel or you want to like save up for a house or whatever your goals are and then also um look into investing and it's always nice to have um, multiple streams of income as well so just getting the education on all that and then especially while being in a relationship having that transparency and communicating what you want to do with your money and what your goals are, um, of course is very important. So you just need to have your partner and you on the same page. Cause if you're not on the same page, I mean, it's probably not going to work out very well. And so, you know, me and my boyfriend were very like transparent and vocal about our income and what we want to do. And we support each other and also push each other. I mean, I would have never started TikTok if it wasn't for him where he has like a million followers i'll link him down below <laughs> shout out to him <laughs> um but yeah he like really motivated me to do all this so you know you just you need that partner in your life um so yeah i won't i won't bore you too much on that um and if y'all want more information on like that we can do a video with him and ask him some more questions so because he's very knowledgeable and all that stuff but next question crocs question mark crocs in general they're cool shoes. I like them. Um, for nursing, gonna be a hard pass for me. I have very narrow feet. I feel like Crocs are very like wide footed, like loose fitting shoes. And the holes, I just don't see myself ever wearing them at work. I like thought about it for a split second. I probably wouldn't wear them at work. So not me. I need something like I said, I'm a really fast walker and being a med surge nurse, I need something that's going to keep up with me. I'm not going to like fly off my foot. <laughs> um, okay. Last question. Where did you get your headbands and water jugs? Um, my headbands, I get majority of them from Ever Ascending Tribe. I do have a discount code with them if y'all want to support me and also save some money. Um, I will link them down below, but my discount code is just Celeste Garcia. I love their headbands. I wouldn't collaborate and work with a brand if I didn't support them. They're thick, they're stretchy. I just have a hard time like with headbands and then being like so tight on my head and I'm like having a headache halfway through my shift. So these, I have no issues and I really like them and they're super nice. And then as far as my water jugs, I also work and have a discount code with Hydro Jug. And I've had a Hydro Jug since I was a new nurse. Super cool brand. And a discount code with them is just Nurse Celeste 10. And I will link all that down below as well. And that's it, guys. I'm out of breath. I need to drink some water. Speaking of my hydrogen jugs over there. But thank you if you've stayed this long. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting me. Like I said, if you're not already following all the socials, please do. Um, and yeah, comment some more video ideas that you like. If you like more vlog style, we can do that. If you like more sit down talking videos, um, I want to do more videos just like what I've gotten on Amazon that's nursing related and things like that. So I do have a lot of um, ideas. It's just making the time for them to do them, edit and get them up for y'all to watch. So just let me know what you like to watch and I will see you in the next one.